Doxazosin is an alpha-1 adrenergic receptor used to treat mild to moderate hypertension and urinary obstruction due to benign prostatic hyperplasia. In this video, let's find found. What is doxazosin? What is doxazosin used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking doxazosin? How does doxazosin work? How to use doxazosin? What is doxazosin? Doxazosin, sold under the brand names Cardura among others, is a medication used to treat symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia, enlarged prostate, and hypertension, high blood pressure. Doxazosin was patented in 1977 and came into medical use in 1988. It is available as a generic medication. In 2020, it was the 209th most commonly prescribed medication in the United States with more than 2 million prescriptions. What is doxazosin used for? Doxazosin is indicated to treat the symptoms of benign prostatic hypertrophy, which may include urinary frequency, urgency, and nocturia, among other symptoms. In addition, doxazosin is indicated alone or in combination with various antihypertensive agents for the management of hypertension. Off-label uses of doxazosin include the treatment of pediatric hypertension and the treatment of ureteric calculi. Contraindication Doxazosin is contraindicated for patients known to have hypersensitivity to doxazosin or other quinazolines. Pregnancy Doxazosin is pregnancy category C, meaning that there is no adequate data on the safety of doxazosin in pregnant women. Side effects. The most common side effects are blurred vision, dizziness, faintness, or lightheadedness when getting up from a lying or sitting position, fainting, sudden, fast and pounding heartbeat, irregular heartbeat, shortness of breath, sweating, swelling of feet or lower legs. Pharmacodynamic. Doxazosin decreases standing and supine blood pressure and relieves the symptoms of benign prostatic hypertrophy through the inhibition of alpha-1 receptors. Doxazosin may cause hypotension due to its pharmacological actions. This frequently occurs in the upright position, with a feeling of dizziness or lightheadedness. The first dose of doxazosin may lead to such effects, however, subsequent doses may also cause them. The risk of these effects is particularly high when dose adjustments occur or there are long intervals between doxazosin doses. Treatment should be started with the 1 mL of doxazosin, followed by slow titration to the appropriate dose. Patients must be advised of this risk and to avoid situations in which syncope and dizziness could be hazardous following the ingestion of doxazosin. Interestingly, doxazosin exerts beneficial effects on plasma lipids. It reduces LDL, low-density lipoprotein, cholesterol and triglyceride levels and increases HDL, high-density lipoprotein, cholesterol levels. Mechanism of Action Doxazosin selectively inhibits the postsynaptic alpha-1 receptors on vascular smooth muscle by non-selectively blocking the alpha-1A, alpha-1B, and alpha-1D subtypes. This action on blood vessels decreases systemic peripheral vascular resistance reducing pressure, exerting minimal effects on the heart rate due to its receptor selectivity. Norepinephrine-activated alpha-1 receptors located on the prostate gland and bladder neck normally cause contraction of regional muscular tissue, obstructing urinary flow and contributing to the symptoms of benign prostatic hypertrophy. Alpha-1 antagonist causes smooth muscle relaxation in the prostate and bladder, effectively relieving urinary frequency, urgency, weak urinary stream, and other unpleasant effects of BPH. Recently, doxazosin was found to cause apoptosis of HERG potassium channels in an in vitro setting, possibly leading to a risk of heart failure with doxazosin use. Half-life The terminal elimination half-life of doxazosin has been estimated at 9 to 12 hours according to some resources. The FDA label indicates the elimination half-life of doxazosin is 22 hours. Dose. Hypertension. 1 mg POQ day in AM or PM, 
may titrate by doubling daily dose up to 16 mg q day based on blood pressure response. Usual dosage range is 1 to 2 mg q day. If therapy is discontinued for several days, initiate dose at 1 mg q day and titrate using initial dosing regimen. Extended release, not indicated for hypertension. Benign prostatic hyperplasia. Immediate release, 1 mg POQ day, may titrate by doubling daily dose at 1 to 2 week intervals to maximum 8 mg per day. If therapy is discontinued for several days, initiate dose at 1 mg Q day and titrate using initial dosing regimen. Extended release, 4 mg POQ day, may titrate based on response and tolerability every 3 to 4 weeks to 8 mg POQ day. If therapy is discontinued for days, initiate dose at 1 mg Q day and titrate using initial dosing regimen. Safety Advice Advice and Warnings for the Use of Doxazosin During Pregnancy FDA Pregnancy Category C Risk Cannot Be Ruled Out Dose Hypertension 1 mg POQ day in AM or PM may titrate by doubling daily dose up to 16 mg Q day based on blood pressure response. Usual dosage range is 1 to 2 mg Q day. If therapy is discontinued for several days, initiate dose at 1 mg Q day and titrate using initial dosing regimen. Extended release, not indicated for hypertension. Benign prostatic hyperplasia. Immediate release, 1 mg POQ day, may titrate by doubling daily dose at 1 to 2 week intervals to maximum 8 mg per day. If therapy is discontinued for several days, initiate dose at 1 mg Q day and titrate using initial dosing regimen. Extended release, 4 mg POQ day, may titrate based on response and tolerability every 3 to 4 weeks to 8 mg POQ day. If therapy is discontinued for days, initiate dose at 1 mg q day and titrate using initial dosing regimen.